Hey guys, it's 2 Pro Few Games or Adam. Welcome back to another one of my top five videos. And today we're doing the top five worst things about Shadows of Evil. And I don't know why it's taking me this long to do this top five because this is like the ideal top five to do for Shadows of Evil. But we're doing it now. And I do want to give a quick shout out to all of my followers on Twitter. You guys have really helped me out with these uh, recent top fives and it's made my top fives a lot better. So if any of you who aren't following me on Twitter want to help with future top fives, make sure to hit me up with a follow on Twitter. I will have a link in the description. And other than that, let's go ahead and get into this top five. So coming in at number five on my list, this map is definitely too hard, especially for new players. I've never struggled with a map like I did with Shadows of Evil. It, it's crazy. For somebody who plays this map for the very first time, you know, a new Call of Duty player is going to have a hell of a time trying to get anywhere on this map. Not only uh, if someone hasn't played zombies before is it hard for them, but now pack a punching and doing just you know basic things that you should be able to do uh, on a zombie map is incredibly difficult and uh, it's unfortunate that this is the map that's on disc because all the new players who don't have dlc uh, they're gonna play shadows of evil they're gonna be like wow zombies is way too hard i'm not playing this anymore and that's really not a good thing so the map is it's too difficult for for zombies you know zombies isn't that hard zombies is pretty easy it's very straightforward and this it's it, it's crazy difficult so coming in at number four on my list i have the wonder weapon i guess just crafting the wonder weapon a lot of people had a problem with this and personally i'm not i don't have too much of a problem with with the upgrade for the wonder weapon but i can see why people don't like it because it takes a good amount of time to get this wonder weapon going. You have to get the Margua Heart, which you can get pretty early on. Uh, and then you have to get the Xenomatter and the Tentacle. Now, I don't know if they've fixed this, but I remember with Shadows that uh, to get the Xenomatter, you couldn't get it until like round 15. And then the Margua Tentacle, you'd have to wait for some of the pods to become purple. And that took like at least 10 rounds and you might not even get it out of those. Uh, those pods and you might have to wait even longer so the upgrade process not upgrade process sorry just the just crafting the wonder weapon uh, takes a lot of time and of course you can't even upgrade this thing anymore you used to at the very beginning there was a glitch to upgrade it but now you cannot upgrade this thing anymore and uh, that process can be kind of tedious and annoying just so you can have the wonder weapon so coming in at number three on my list i have setting up and uh, this is definitely the biggest complaint I got about Shadows of Evil is the setup process, and I, and I couldn't agree more. Um, setting up on this map is a nightmare, honestly. It takes a long time. It's, it's really similar to Transit, where you take so long to set up, and then say you die after you set up, you do not want to go back and play again. That's what really kills this map is I think it doesn't have a lot of replay value because you you set up it takes such a long so long period of time uh, with the rituals and getting the wonder weapon and just getting all your stuff uh, and then say you make it 10 15 rounds after you set up and you die you're just like well, I don't feel like doing that again. That that took way too long. I don't want to go back and do that again. The setup process is, I think it's it's too hard. Uh, it takes way too long and uh, you don't want to do it after you've already done it once. On other maps like Dreisendraka and the Giant, you know, I can get completely set up and die and I'll gladly go back and do it again. This map, I can't. So coming in at number two on my list, I have the Margua and uh, the Margua is just, uh, he, he's really annoying. Like, I guess that's the that's the best word to use to describe the Margua is annoying. Because he spawns in, first of all, way too often. Like, every three rounds or so. I don't know if they fixed it, but, you know, it used to be every three rounds, which was horrible. And then on top of that, he, he really isn't hard to kill. But it takes a good amount of time to kill him. Because you have to shoot off... 
each of his heads and uh, that's a bit of a lengthy process especially in the higher rounds of your training you kind of have to change your train slightly in order to focus all of your shots on the margwa because you want to kill him as fast as possible you don't want this guy in your train because he can he can kill you really quickly his hits are really powerful i think with jug i don't know if it's a one hit or a two hit i'm not exactly sure but i know if you don't have jug he will definitely one hit you and uh, it's just you have to deal with him too often if he spawned in like the panzer every five to six rounds that'd be perfect you know that'd be absolutely perfect but since he spawns in so often it just becomes repetitive and incredibly annoying because you're dealing with him constantly it feels like you don't get a break from the margwa he's always there you get him from with the rituals and just by playing uh, no it's it's no fun so coming in at number one on my list, I have the Rituals, and uh, I'm assuming a lot of you assumed that the Rituals was going to be in the number one spot for this list, and uh, a lot of people on Twitter, they said the Rituals is the worst thing about Shadows, and I completely agree with this. Just, I think the, the, the reason why I don't like Shadows is because of the Rituals. It, it takes a long time, first of all, and, and that's no fun. And, and look at Transit, guys. Transit was, you know, the same thing. It took so long to set up, and when you're comparing a map to Transit, that's not a good thing. So the Rituals, people were saying it takes them like 20 minutes to, to, to do the Rituals. It doesn't take me 20 minutes. I, I'm pretty good at it, but it does take me, I'd say, 10, 15 plus minutes to do all the rituals just to get to the pack a punch and it's incredibly repetitive it's the same thing for each ritual right you grab the the part or whatever you go into a room and you run around a circle that that's all you're doing and it's so repetitive and, it, and it's so annoying and it's so boring you just don't want to do it and that goes back to like the setting up process and the map being too hard it's like you die after getting set up you don't feel like doing that all over again you know it's because it's boring and it's repetitive and it's it's no fun right and what do you get for doing all these rituals you get the pack a punch the pack a punch is like a basic thing on every map it shouldn't be that hard to do the pack a bunch i understand what they're trying to do it's it's kind of interesting but at the same time it's just boring and uh it's definitely it's it's no fun these rituals literally make the map no fun so anyways guys that is all for now if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you guys want to help me out with future top fives make sure to hit me up with a follow on twitter and other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out